I think we always will have to be water conscious and water wise in how we use this valuable resource. I don't think we'll ever be in a situation where we're going to have so much water we can waste it foolishly like we used to do. So we're always going to need to think about every drop and how it's used and where it's placed. I started working for the U.S. Forest Service in 1975. I was assigned a helicopter module. I flew initial attack first on scene of a wildfire via the helicopter transportation and fought the fire until other resources arrived and then we would move out and get ready for another initial attack fire. In 2012, still working as a firefighter, as a battalion chief, I went to see a doctor and he wanted to get some x-rays of not only my lower back but also both hips. He says your career as a firefighter is over with. I'd done this my entire life. I just didn't, I didn't feel right and now I'm out of a job. So it's quite a surprise. During my life, I was always involved in the water and now I've gone back to my roots finding another resource for water. When this drought started several years ago, I really started realizing what a difficult situation we were in and that I really needed to find a better way to use water and use it more conservatively. I had a very large yard in the front which needed water all the time, so I had that yard taken out with a sod removal program. And when I had the system put in with the, the new drought tolerant plants, it really reduced the amount of yard work I had to do. Plus it made a very interesting front yard. Everything we have in the yard, if we're using water, uh, is on a drip system. I have high efficiency, low flow sprinkler heads. I have rain buckets stationed at the drop spouts of the roof gutter system that uh, give me water when it rains and I'll use that for irrigation as well. Okay, now I'm heading off to get some recycled water from the Mobile Reuse Program in Ventura. Let's take a ride in the truck. Hey Scott, how you doing bud? Jim, good to see you, some more water? It's been a while, yeah. All right. Let's do another tank. Oh. And he's going to open that valve. Ready? I'm ready, let her rip. And we're going to load up with about 109 to 110 gallons of water. This is recycled water and it has a lot of the nutrients still in it that are great for the garden. All right, we're there. It's such a natural thing to do to use recycled water for your yard, for your garden, for your lawn, things like that. And water goes full cycle from usable to a non-usable state to now something that's totally usable and really a reasonable thing to do. I learned about the mobile water reuse program, so I went out and bought a 100 gallon tank and I bought a little 35 GPM pump and some garden hose and a hard suction hose. And I was simply amazed to be able to water as much as I want for as long as I want to. All I had to do is go and pick up the water. Uh, we've been able to keep our backyard green through the mobile reuse program. And without it, we probably would have to let a lot of plants go. Um, we just wouldn't be able to get the water to the plants that they need. And it's, it's really an oasis back here. And now that he's done this, bringing home the water, tanking it, I feel like he's very proud of what he does. Every drop I save is, is uh, that much more we have for people who do need it for drinking or the necessities in life and not uh, wastefully used. My dad is so committed to water conservation um, because he's just a person of the water. He's always been a surfer, especially in recent years as California has you know, experienced extreme drought. He still wants to have a beautiful lush green yard, but he really recognized that he couldn't continue doing that the way he was. I actually feel like I'm going back to my firefighting roots as an engineer pumping water to the hose line to the firefighters to accomplish the task. And for me, it's just, uh, each time I do it, it's just a joy.